Hey guys, what is up? We are here. We're gonna make a new world for Minecraft. And yeah, so I started out making a new world again. But in it, I was saying, so I'm just gonna recap it here, so this will be the introduction to this, is I was saying that all my other Let's Plays on my channel have just gone to garbage. Um, outdated, not uploading schedule. There's, there's just stuff wrong with them. And in our new LP, that I think the last episode was two months ago that I uploaded, so that's just out of the question. Yeah, there was some weird chunk error glitch in that world, so I just got rid of it. I'm guessing it was something with Optifine. It was like a permanent chunk error in my world that you couldn't build anything in it. It's not even like you could break a block in it, but you couldn't even break a block in it. Once you go in it, you'd get stuck and have to kill yourself, and your stuff would just drop into the void. So yeah, whole bunch of glitches, guys. So let's get started with something new on here. And what we'll call this is just, um... The... Official... LP? I don't know, something like that. Um. So yeah, we'll leave the seed blank, see what we get. Let's just wing it. I really don't even care. I just want to get this started. And while we're starting off here, I want to say that I'm going to make this uploading schedule something really good, like recording the day I'm going to upload, recording the day before I'm going to upload. I want to use all these snapshots that the Mojang team is releasing. I want to do all that. In the beginning here, if I have some mess ups placing things, it's because my mouse is broken and it's double clicking randomly and it's very, it's very annoying. I couldn't find any help on the internet. So I contacted Logitech, and they've done crap. They've done nothing about it. They haven't even responded to my email. Or the help notification I sent in. Whatever you do on the website. They said, we'll get back to you in 48 hours, but no. I haven't got back to you in seven days. So, yeah. And sometimes it's even happening my left click now. Which is getting me pretty aggravated. But, as I said, with my new computer, I'm not sure, no. I didn't even say anything about that yet. Yeah, if you guys were wondering, I'm on my new computer. I got a new computer for Christmas, guys. This is amazing. The computer specs are 8 gigabytes of, eight gigabytes of RAM, 500 gigabytes of hard drive, a whole bunch of good things like that. And yeah, the graphics card is Radeon 7770. It's amazing. Without fraps, I get average 200 FPS. With no lag, nothing of that nature. And I'm on max settings, except for V-Sync. Ah, uh, yeah, that's messed up and everything. That really drops your FPS. Um... But yeah, let's start this off. I'm killing some cows here. And I think we're gonna cut, go cut down some trees over here. First, I want to grab some stone with my wooden pickaxe. And yeah, start this off. Um, okay, I guess... I don't know if you guys heard that beeping, but my headset is uh, wireless, so it's uh, running out of battery. But oh well, we could make this pretty good without that. Oh, here's a cow here. Are you gonna die? No. What about you? Ow. Oh yeah, so we're just gonna dig into this wall right here. And we're gonna get started. So where am I gonna make my house, are you guys asking? Well, I'm undecided. I might make something great above house. I might not even go above house. I might live in a cave. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on the situation where we are. So, uh... Yeah, I'm guessing for now we're going to be in a cave just to um, get resources and whatnot. Collect resources for an above ha a ground house or something. I'm guessing that's what I want to do. I want to make something very nice looking. Nothing garbage. Not like a, like a, what, an 8x8 house that has wood on the side or something. I don't know. I don't want anything stupid like that. I actually want to make something very nice. Something to impress somebody. Or you guys. But, yeah. 
I'm just very confused right now because I have fraps set at 30 FPS to record and it's staying at 60. Hmm. But yeah, I started recording. I actually had another world that I was going to do. Which is why I'm all confused. I don't know what I said in that. I don't know what I didn't say in it. All that kind of stuff. But yeah, I tried recording that, and uh, earlier today, it's just that uploading schedule got bad because with my new computer, I was more worried about getting all of my games back from my laptop and all that kind of stuff. So I wasn't worried about uh, uploading at the time. I did record a video right on the day. I got it because I was so excited. But uh, yeah, since then, nothing. I haven't uploaded anything. Because I've been downloading my games back and my internet's. Oh, excuse me. My internet speed's very slow. So, yeah, I just thought, let's trash it. It's not that good. I had a cave house going. Uh, nothing too good. A piston door. Uh, not. Very stupid stuff. But, yeah, I think we'll start this one a little bit better than that. Get our piston door in the second episode instead of, like, the fourth, I think I was recording. But, yeah, let's get this going right. Oh, yeah, so I'm collecting some wood around here for now. And if you guys were wondering, um, I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack. It's 32-bit. Uh, Pretty good. I'm using Optifine, the standard version, not with the FPS or anything. Uh, because with the FPS, well, how I was saying in the beginning, is uh, I th think how the chunk loading is... Uh, improve your FPS or whatever it does. It made that weird corrupt chunk in my world. Uh, so yeah, I'm just using the standard. I don't even need the FP FPS help anyway, so... I'm using the standard all the way. And yeah, that's what's helping me with using the Optifine texture pack. And yeah, I love Optifine. I'm not hating on it because of that chunk error thing. I think it's amazing. Because I love the zoom, I love I love most of the stuff about it. I should grab some of these trees too. It's amazing. I think it's better than MC Patcher. You can you have um I don't think there's that many settings with MC Patcher. I haven't looked into that lately, but yeah. So I'm recording this on what's today's date? Uh, let's check really quick. Today is January tenth of 2013 um, a few days after the new year so yeah I actually have everything settled in my laptop I've got my Skyrim I've got all the new games I on Steam if for all you PC gamers out there I bought the THQ collection pack off Steam that was um $25 it's pretty crazy it got a whole bunch of good games like Metro 2033 um, what else was there? There's like MX versus ATV games. I used to play those when I was um about seven or eight years old. I don't know. We used to play those games so much. I got that. I got a whole bunch of random mini games that I've never even heard of before, but they sound fun. Uh, what else I got? I got Saints Row. I got Darksiders. Darksiders two and Saints Row the third. Yes, yeah, so I got a whole bunch of good games. That's enough saplings. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I was looking um at the updates on what's going on in the in THQ. I'm guessing it's like um Activision that makes the Call of Duty, which I also have that. But um yeah, so <sighs> that was a weird star right there. I'm sorry. I was yawning and trying to talk at the same time. That was a weird glitch. I don't know if you guys saw that or was it client side. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, guys, so let's get back on topic here. I was just grabbing some sheep. And yeah, so back to the update on THQ. I was looking at the news and it said they filed for bankruptcy. So I'm guessing that's why that THQ pack was so cheap. It was, um. I was looking at the compared prices without the sale. And it said, I, oh, what was it? Oh, $200, yeah, $200 for 
and then with the sale it's twenty five dollars that's amazing so I don't know if buying that pack of steam helps THQ get back into the business or whatnot so yeah if you guys are into that kind of stuff go look at the collection on steam I'm not sure if it is still twenty five dollars now I got it during the holidays with a uh, steam gift card I got so yeah you guys should really check that out I mean if it does help them become unbankrupt I mean support them up I don't know how many games you guys play that actually are uh, launched by THQ or whatever you call it I don't know what you call it I'm not any game uh, creator and whatnot. So yeah, I just cut down the tree for the co coconuts, <laughs> the cocoa beans. And yeah, I'm really looking around for a nice place to settle down. But I'm not sure. I would really like a huge open space if I did need to build a house above ground. And uh oh, I need food. So, uh, yeah, a little bit more about this Let's Play, rather than getting off topic. Um, as I said before about... Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. Sorry for that interruption. But as I was saying before about getting off topic, I'm getting off topic again. But, oh, well, about what I said about the Let's Play, I'm going to upload it a day or two before I'm going to upload whatever it is, whatever it comes to the day I upload, however it works out. But yeah, I want to keep it up to date, snapshots by produced by the Mojang team. And I'm not using that right, right now, I want to start it off legit from everything. The newest um, newest one came out um, about a week ago, it was started to put the redstone update into it, the redstone block, which would be amazing to save room in chests. I've also been playing on the server. And uh, I'd like to show you guys that. Also, look for more games from my channel. Like I was saying, I just got that collection pack. I have Let's Plays to do if I want to. And all that kind of cool stuff. So it looks like it's becoming night. And we'll get a bed going. And yeah, I don't think I've seen a cave so far, which is pretty sad. But yeah, right now in the... Right now, I am in 1.4.6. 1.4.7's out right now. I just haven't felt like clicking on it with the bug fix. Because, um, I don't feel like updating Optifine or anything like that. I just wasn't in the mood. I was just in the mood to record today. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So, yeah, starting this thing off, um, I want to end the episode in a place where we could, um, just bunker up for a night. Huh. But yeah, I think we're gonna be making a house above ground. Um. That's not supposed to happen. Um. But yeah. I think we should head into this forest a little bit just to see if we could find a cave for right now. And I'm still curious to ooh, still curious to why um I'm getting FPS in the 70s when frap should be limiting at 30. Hmm. But oh well, hopefully this doesn't take up too many gigabytes because I'm limited to the 500 gigabytes of hard drive, and I'm already down to 380, I think. Which uh, it's still still a lot, but. I think the last recording I did of the old world that I tried to do good, but that got outdated too, as I said before. Yeah, I recorded that in 60 FPS, full screen, all HD, and that was 36 gigabytes. So, yeah, that's not going to happen again, so I lowered it down to 30 FPS, see what that does. I don't know if it's a lot more gigabytes than on my laptop, because I have a 1080p monitor. But, uh, yeah. So, as I'm down here collecting some of this stuff, down in the description, I think I'm going to be having um, PC specs, so look forward to that. If you guys were wondering, um, I'm not like repping out this 
site or anything, but I got it from Cyber Power PC. Pretty good, because it lets you, like, it's not like you have to go, like, you have to get this complete set for this much money. You have to get this complete set. But you're able to, like, complete, like, um, I don't know what it's called, what they'd call it, but it was almost like a recommended, like, setup kind of thing. But you're able to change whatever you want, pretty much, like. So, yeah, I customized some of the stuff I wanted, some of the stuff I didn't want, some of the stuff you don't really need, and it was just there, you could just save money on, and all that kind of stuff. But, um, the version of the computer that I started off with was the Gamer Extreme 2000. So, yeah, you could think about that and look at it. But, yeah, some of the parts were upgraded and whatnot. I also got it during a Christmas sale, so... That's amazing. I didn't do an unboxing on this because um, I wasn't really going to do that. It's kind of personal and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I just didn't want to do it because I was lazy and wanted to get it open and play with it. I wasn't going to do it as unboxing on Christmas Day. Ugh. No. Spend time with the family and give things, not receive things. Christmas is for giving, not receiving. Remember that. So, hey guys, I don't know if you noticed, but my headset just died right there. Um, yeah, so I was just wrapping it up saying, this was the first episode. Next episode, we're going to start on our house. We're going to do a whole bunch of fun things down in this ravine. And I'm just going to put some stuff in the chest right here. And next episode will continue. This will be uploaded hopefully in a day or two. So look forward to that. This will be super fun, guys. And I'll see you another time.